Aaron, shout out Doubles Queen. Facts, facts. She carries the shit out of me. But uh, now we got Losers Finals, Zerzel versus Waltz, Mega Man versus Min Min. Waltz was playing like dog ass in the first set. I heard you might Zerzel was playing good though. Not like legitimately. It's just Waltz was doing these things that are so uncharacteristic in terms of not being safe or not like reacting or also just like not realizing like I was, I was telling you, I was like, you would grab Zerzel when it's like last stock and you're losing. And he's only at like 30, and you grab him mid stage, and you're like forward through, but that's not even going to get him off stage. So, like, why are you not down throw fairing, for example? Yeah, off stage should be your priority, right? You have such good edge guarding with back air with your quick fair. Off stage, you should never go for damage because you can kill Min Min essentially any time. Exactly. So, you should go always for the quick aerial. However, I was telling him about the down airs and the air dodges out of disadvantage or like in a, in a scramble situation. That Zerzel replaced. Jump from ledge, double smash, to down air and like air, air dodges out of hit stun. They're quote unquote bad options, but at the same time, if you land aggressively and you're not expecting it, you can get out of those situations that could kill you, right? So exactly. Zerzel knowing that, going for them, and now I think Walt's a little more aware, like you said, getting to those options. That's going to serve him really well. Of course, the up smash though, nerfed, but still a viable option, especially in anti-air on landing. Yeah, and, the, and here's the thing too, uh, Mega Man, can get two frame like relatively easily, but oh wow! Yeah. The big thing is that he, especially Waltz, and it's part Mega Man, part Habit. He loves stalling at these like distances where obviously Mega Man. Oh nice, Mega Man recovers, but the arms are like right there. It's at this horizontal angle that isn't up, and it's yeah. not directly like under. So you're just randomly just gonna get hit by laser right. or like ram ram and now you're in an even worse position you have no jump and see those are the things i'm talking about those kinds of down airs the risk reward is not in mega man's favor in this in that scenario and also what what happens even if you get it versus min min like yeah she maybe gets sent off stage it's one of those where you probably should have just landed normally or just upbeat because he's been doing a lot of upbeats yeah. to get out very smart by the way Yes, but I still like Waltz. He is getting these up tilts in between the smash attacks, these tilts. He's weaving his way in. There's where he needs to pellet. I was telling him, you got to pellet a little bit more. And those are the scenarios. After two arms, all right, stop oh, him yeah. from pelleting. And that's a, that's the recovery thing, too. And like, that's another thing. I think Waltz was caught doing either an aerial or a special offstage in that mid-range where, where Min Min feasts off that yeah. option. Yeah. You have to either drop as quickly as possible or maybe mix it up high occasionally. But either way, Zerks are going to feast off that recovery option. going to take that stock. And we'll see if Waltz can come back here. If he gets any extra credit at this point, it will be rough. But yeah. the dash attack from Zerks, he is so good at anticipating how to dash attack out of disadvantage. Yeah. And Zerks has been getting a lot of really good grabs. And that's something that Waltz is going to have to adapt to, too. Like, why am I shielding so much? Or what are these situations Zerks is putting me in where I feel forced to shield? And then he's grabbing me. And even though it's like a setup, it's not like a frame trap. You can still spot dodge or jump out. And it's just like not reacting to like, oh wait, he grabbed. Yeah, and you see he's like six for six for grabs. He's anticipating these landing shields every time. And if, you, if you're if you six for six on grabs as Min Min, the, the reward is so big, you're, you might as well win the set right there. Yeah, or win the game right is. there. You're right? getting positioning, you're getting powered up dragon. You're getting a lot. And that's a good edge guard there. So right. we'll go from there. And you are Mega Man, you have some survivability, right? Um, You can take a few more hits. So he's still in this, but he has to play this essentially perfectly. Down there is a decent start, though. Okay. Oh, you gotta watch that. You See, can that's the one scenario where what is Pellet doing for you when you should be either going off of a fair or like getting away because what that's not only a Zerzo option, a Min Min option. I'm going to obviously aggressively attack the ledge because what are you gonna do about it most of the time? Yeah, but that's, that's just the weird part of the matchup, right? It's like usually Mega Man kind of more neutral focus. In this matchup, he has to be more advantage focused because he's normally a mid-range beast, but that's where Min Min flourishes. So. It is. And, yeah. and it's weird to say that Mega Man doesn't do too bad in a matchup where he's really not able to pellet. It's like one of the few matchups where, yeah, you can't pellet, but landing fair is going to beat the arms aside from Mega Watt Smash, and even then... It probably beats it on starting. Yeah, and I mean that back air is one of the best options that edge guarding in the game. Yeah, and that's and I think that's a trap that Waltz is falling into too. 
your best edge guard tool is fair because of how active it is. Yeah. And the angle weak fair sends into. If you get weak fair, you just fair again. Yeah. Back air, it's like, okay, well, I back aired. I'm in lag. They went slightly further. They had time to readjust or jump. I got to, like, reposition. Fair is, like, the go-to move. It's active forever. Sweet spot combos into it itself that helps you. And see, those are the good landing fairs in general. In yeah. general. That is good. That grab barely whiffing so that, you know, you can. There is counterplay. But those are the kind of landing options that Walsh needs to go to aside from the side Bs or uh, even, like, Pellet. Uh, Lee Shield's been doing decent, but it's, it's something that nice. I hate that confirm. Yeah, drag down back air up tilt. Very, very good. For Minmin, it's such a big body. That's not going to kill for at least until 100, 110 that minimum. Um, but yeah, landing Megawatt, I believe. Was that a smash set? Landing it was megawatt? smash Megawatt. Yeah, excellent call. I think anticipated the pellets, like you said, just calling out these pellets in mid range. Um, okay, whilst waiting it out, I like it. But now with the re grab. Going high, it's it so anticipating the high recovery, getting the stock. And he could have lived that, but Waltz is drifting out, understandably so. But that's the thing, like Waltz is just I feel like he's lost because he hasn't played the Lux slash Castle and or even BC in so long. I feel like he un he knows, but he's just like forgetting that step though. Yeah. Okay, and only 51. And I feel like Waltz just needs to come from higher angles more often. Stop, okay, stop but going low. That was a beautiful confirm there. He's he, probably dead. He got the forward throw yeah. into tilt, into the forward smash. He, it's not just about getting the two frames, it's about setting up the two frames. Perfectly done by Zerxel. He can really, really take a, you know, take, basically take the set or take a very, very. See, and those are where the weak fairs are like good. Like even on stage. Oh. Can you tell Waltz was keeping this up right now? Yeah, but Waltz is doing very good now. And I'm also surprised he's not doing S smash. There we go. Ooh, and guess the edge guard. No yeah. jump here. This is it. This is it. Kill him. Yep. Beautiful what? stock by Waltz. And that's what you have to do. He Notice, if you go back and watch this stock, he was using fair, leaf shield, significantly more. Getting there. Okay, getting inside the range where Min Min is going to be helpless to Mega Man's options. But okay, didn't get convert much. And right now, Zerx will still in control of the set using nice. Smash Attack Tilt. Okay, interrupting the over there. Both these, both these players play. Yeah. Perfect usage of the pellet as well. I told them, you got to use it. I said, like, a little check. Like, hey, I know this beats my pellet most of the time. But if you're doing it too early or, or uh, too late, it's still going to hit you. And your arm just stops. And now you're, like, pretty much in disadvantage. All right. Well, Mega, not, Mega One there. Going to put him in perfect position. No jump again. Can Walsh make it back? Oh, time the up B perfectly did not allow the trip to happen, but he is on borrowed time right now. One more Mega One F smash, one more hit, and he might be done. But gets the shield pressure nice with the Crash Bomber. This is what he needs. Good shielding. Oh, the roll from Zerxel was so good there. Waltz anticipating another option. And finding the stage control, the backwards hit of Bring About Nair. How can Waltz find his way back this time? Slowly but surely making his way, but gonna get his jump caught again. Yeah, Waltz is uh, getting hit by the second arms a lot. Yeah, just slowly, like, the slight mistiming of waiting it out, costing him at the moment. And it, and it's hard, because you, like, think you have time, but no, like, you have to wait. Oh, this could they be it. Point blank pellet, exactly what I'm surprised that Metal Blade missed. Oh, this could be it. This is jump. Okay, waiting it out. Oh! oh, and hitting the up B. That's game two for Walt. Down under he goes, baby. What a play. He was at his bet store. Grim Reaper staring him down. Had to make that play or it was over. He was not going to survive another megawatt hit. Had yeah. to make it. That was do or die. Look at Waltz. He's staring up. He's like, oh, thank God. Set ain't over. It's not down 2-0, which is a massive difference. It changes counterfeit war. It changes your entire mental. It's way different to be 1-1 than down 0-2. Zerxel is, he's unfaced though. This man. Zerzel, Zerz, why, why do you say Zerxel? It's Zerzel. Oh, wait, is it? I'm pretty sure. We'll ask him. <laughs> I'm sure you know better than me. But uh, Zerzo. Zerzo has a pretty good mental overall. As, unless it's like Rob or maybe Wolf. He's not going to get Maldi. Even if he gets gimped here. The pellet. The pellet. The, the Manny pellet. Did, all he needs is a slight hit. And and even Fair would have worked there. Like And that and that's the thing too. Is that you could do the. Oh, he has no jump. Oh, he See, I'm really jump. shocked that he went to Smashville. Because this will allow a lot more opportunities for Mega Man to get into advantage and get stopped. See, I agree. And I think this is the polar opposite of the Rob matchup where if Rob wants space to laser. Mega Man is like, okay, no space. That's fine. This is literally easier to get in on. Yeah, it's like the ledge traps is where Mega Man's going to be making his money. Um, 
So I, I don't know. I think he just wanted the earlier cheese shocks, right? You can get earlier cheese shocks on Smashville. Um, we'll see. I mean, still down a head to Well, not stopping. Here, Dating no. the crash bomber, and this could be it again. Another wow. air. No, I think he could have gone for oh, the back Oh, he got it. Yeah. I think he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, Min Min's recovery. If that was Byleth, recover. Even Joker makes it back. Yeah. The only one I don't know for sure is honestly Ivysaur, but Ivysaur is tether. Worst no tether jump. in the game. As long as it's the first up beat, probably makes it back. And Boss really feeling himself. Going for the second additional backer. Getting the downer on landing. Zerxo getting all these options come out. It's not looking good right now. And Walt's starting to catch on on the double F smash to so recover. A lot of the times you're not going to punish it directly, at least when it's done like going down. But it does do shield damage eventually. If you're not punishing it, I mean, you're taking 20, 30, potentially dying if you beat the eye it poorly. Yeah. Um, and Walt's like noting that is very important. And I'm curious to see what Zerzel does to try to mix it up. Because uh, this game is like... I don't want to say it's basically a wash, but it's about as close to a wash as you can get. I mean, he's really taking advantage of his Mega Man survivability. Most characters would not survive, especially Mega Watts at this percent. Yeah. Tilt smashes regardless. But using that additional upbeat, um, yeah. he's just staying so patient. He's just not allowing these losses to happen. And getting another Crash Bomber again, catching the landing. Might as well go for it. That's fine. That's fine. Wasn't gonna kill, but like, it's not the end of the world. It's not like a character like Young Link or Kazuya, where like you actually. Get touch of death, yeah. just relatively close if it you comes off get, a powered up grab. You can get coverage to death. Yeah. But well, uh, typically you're making at least three mistakes. Don't get me wrong; it's hard to choose right in those situations. But at least it's not. Oh, I literally just got electrocuted. However, and as I we died. say that, the, the neutral has tied up for Zerf, so getting these down tilt. Laser. It's a nair. Oh. This is how he killed Cola at like 50 percent, and he caught the jump too. Oh my god, the down tilt air conversion is just so deadly from Zerxel, and that's why we just can't count this man out just yet. Yeah, only 80 or 92 now. This is where it's not too bad. Uh, really, just one grab can open it all up, but this is where can you make it back? Double jumps back. Oh, wow. Barely tethers up boys. He has smashed by that thin of his hair. I'm very surprised I missed. And, and Walt's been doing very good at going high. And these angles that Mimmin sucks mm. at covering. Yeah, he tried to call out the Nair grab, but Walt's avoiding it, but still. Okay, this 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 blood trap is super important for Walt. He has not kept Zerxel in the corner this entire um lead. And Zerxel getting some oh, confidence. Barely in. hitting. Can he close this out right now? Ooh, the, the roll from Zerxel almost catching him. That was very dangerous. And that's the only issue about the up beat. If you get if you happen to get caught by the Ram Ram, you could get laser just like the first stock. Okay, but these tilts from Mega Watch is so impressive, eating through the pellets. Well, it's still not respecting the option as much as he probably should. Um, but catches oh. the roll! He could have had it, but the S-Fetch is too slow. Here, Waltz just needs to nut up. He rolls oh, in. Really interesting yeah, roll. Zorx's neutral has improved so much. The adaptation has been insane. And now, at this point, I was like, he's in the lead, to be honest. He's Megawatt. Um, uh, can do it. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. And that's just rough. I thought he would actually just die to the up air. I'm actually pretty surprised the air dodge got him completely out. Uh, I thought he was going to air dodge and it still just carries him. Yeah, no. But frame trap, essentially, Walt's a really good reaction there. But Zarzal doing a really good job bringing it back there. Uh, and, it's, and it's curious to see, is it more Walt maybe being complacent? Right. Or is it Zerzo adapting? I think it's a mix of both. Zerzo was starting to... Uh, use Ram Ram a little bit more because he was realizing, okay, if you're going to go up, I'm going to try to cover the landing after you upbeat with Ram Ram and then yeah. switch immediately. But at the same time, Walt was maybe like the up tilt, okay, you died when you probably didn't need to. The You got you jumped out of the Nair that hit you into Ram Ram into Dragon Laser, which killed you pretty early. So it's just how do you keep that from happening again? Yeah, and the thing is, like, we questioned the Smashville pick at first, but we saw how when Min, like, when, when Zerxel was in his flow, when he was covering these options and getting these down tilt and nares, how quickly he can take a stock. So, yeah. actually, I understand the pick, right? It, it makes this punish game even that more more explosive, though. But the point is, you can't go he down that much. No jump right here. Oh, we actually have one. That Wait. was a really good, like, exactly. air dodge mix up, but. I mean, it doesn't matter. If it didn't get you to legend time, that's about it. All right, we'll I like that instant F smash there, though. Zerxel can't wait till high percentage third stock to respond this time. He's going to have to make a statement a little bit sooner because he's not going to come back from Walsh. Walsh is going to close out the game if you wait that long. So, fair. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about? Where it's like, in normal situations, that would work. Not that fair bear miss because it's min-min. But it's one of those situations where the angle that the second fair would send that 
is more than enough. You don't need the extra damage or the extra distance that a bear potentially would give you. Yeah. Up throw, not yet. I really love these backwards use uh, of the Smash Section Jerk, right? Baiting back, getting the backwards hit. It's really catching everybody off guard tonight. I've seen him land it a lot of times. Yeah, back throw should do it. Yeah. And yeah, you know, Waltz, I have not seen these spot dodges come out. If he's just spot dodges once, it's such a huge punish, right? Potentially. And there's an air dodge read. He hit him and then Zerzel air dodge down. And, it, and it's scary, too, because moves like Leaf Shield and Pellet, if they happen to lift you up, you are so much worse than if it just kept you on the ground. Yeah, so, so weathering the storm pretty well here. He knows that he can no eat jump. it out. Oh, just back. Waltz knowing that, it should be it again. Yeah. All right. This is and the, and that, there's a big difference between set one and set two. Set one being winner semis. Waltz is edge guarding almost every time and playing way more at the 45 and 90 degree angle, which Min, Min struggles with. Yes, you have up smash, but that's relatively easily baitable. You can't really deal with like landing fairies easily. You'd have to like hard call it out with like megawatt smash. And like I said, I'm pretty sure on startup, you Mega Man fair still is winning. Okay, that leech shield is gonna be useless against that Min Min range. Just gonna eat right through it. I mean, he has to be very careful when he uses that. He has to be essentially point blank to make sure he doesn't get punished. However, he's still holding on to this lead. Um, still going high here. He's also not in a position to punish, but still. Just catches the jump at the exact time he needs to. One to one. One to one. Back air. And now that was a good situation in the back air. <gasps> that is Don't really bad. Fair. And that's that it. should be it. Yeah. yeah. Catches every air dodge. Yeah. And and that's the thing. Like, Zerzel was only doing the air dodge literally because he had to. Like, if you watch this, you'll be like, oh, what a bad air dodge. I mean, he already jumped. He already waited. It just happened that, like, his uppy would get hit by fair or like down air, for example. 